Greetings everybody, Maximus here. I don't do a lot of military subjects on the channel, but I could, so if you're interested in seeing more military aviation information, let me know down below. Before March of 2022, the Pentagon plans to order more than $2 billion worth of specialized semiconductors needed for weapons like the B-2 bomber, among other weapon systems, before the only facility that produces them goes out of business. Global Foundries, the company that presently makes the semiconductors, has sold their factory in Fishkill, New York, that produces the specialized chips used in GPS-dependent systems, and the new owner, On Semiconductor, won't be making them. The Defense Department is confronting its looming supply crunch amid a global shortage of the chips used in a variety of public consumer items from mobile phones to autonomous vehicles. Jessica Maxwell, a Pentagon spokesperson, said the move addresses a diminishing manufacturing capacity. Under an expedited supplemental spending bill passed by Congress, an initial $885 million in orders would be placed by December 15th of 2021. Maxwell said that gives the company enough time to process the requests and manufacture the parts before the production line shuts down. The $885 million was the only Pentagon-related exception that the White House Budget Office asked Congress to approve in its stopgap spending measure, which generally freezes spending at fiscal 2021 levels. According to a defense official who spoke on condition of anonymity, said the remainder of the $2 billion in orders would need to be placed by March 3rd in advance of the expected completion of the factory sale next December. Chips take about three months to go from disks of silicon to finished products. Systems that use the semiconductors include the B-2 Stealth Bomber, the Army and Marine Corps Tactical Light Vehicle, the Army's Wheeled Striker Vehicle, the Navy's Arleigh Burke Class Destroyer, and the Air Force's new GBU-53 Small Diameter Bomb II. Global Foundry's $430 million sale of its specialized fabrication or Fab 10 facility to On Semiconductor Corp. is driving these end-of-life orders, the company said in a statement. For certain programs and technologies, we are meeting the DOD's needs by manufacturing large volumes of chips sufficient for the lifetime of the program. In other instances, we are partnering with the DoD to extend the life cycle of certain technologies manufactured at Fab 10 by transitioning the manufacturing of their chips to other global foundry fabs, the company said. The Air Force said in a statement that the bulk buy of the military's specialized GPS code compliant application specific integrated circuits is intended to cover multiple years for use in various cards, receivers, and or platforms based on service requirements. The components are built to defense standards for specialized weight and power requirements. In February, the Department of Defense signed a new strategic agreement with Global Foundries to supply semiconductors starting in 2023, manufactured at another facility in Malta, New York. But that facility won't produce the chips now made at Fishkill. Global Foundries Incorporated in the Cayman Islands and headquartered in Malta, New York, was created by the divestiture of the manufacturing arm of Advanced Micro Devices. The company was privately owned by Mabadala Investment Company, the Sovereign Wealth Fund of the United Arab Emirates, until an initial public offering in October of 2021. So like I mentioned at the top, if you'd like me to do more military aviation videos, just let me know down below. Well, that's going to wrap it up for now. On your way out, please be sure to like, subscribe, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the year. Yeah, this is Maximus.